The magician will now attempt a timeless classic, the floating zombie ball. He starts with this brightly polished chrome ball. With some magical gestures, he casts a spell over the ball and then casts the black scarf over it. Suddenly, the ball begins to rise. The magical spell is causing the ball to float beneath the scarf. And now, it comes up for air. The ball rests on the edge of the scarf, then dips back down for another spin. He pulls it back, but it always seems to want to fly away. Better put it down before somebody loses an eye. Wait, now he's made it disappear. Or so we thought. It takes flight once more. Then he's able to convince it to take a rest. The zombie ball one of the most popular tricks in all of magic. Okay, how did the magician make the shiny ball seem to float beneath that magic cloth? You know there's a secret, and this one is simpler than you might imagine. At the beginning of the trick, the ball is sitting on the pedestal and the magician covers it with the black scarf. Instantly, it begins to float, but not under its own power or some phony magic spell. The ball is actually supported by this black metal rod that's hidden behind the cloth. One end is attached to the back of the ball, the side you never see, and controlled by the magician who secretly holds the other end in his fingertips. When the cloth is in place, he manipulates the ball by manipulating the rod. Wherever he points the rod, the ball will follow. With the cloth hiding the rod, it looks like the ball is floating under its own power. He can even make the ball rise above the cloth, as long as he doesn't let the rod show. From this angle, we can see how he makes the ball momentarily disappear. He simply points the rod backward, alongside his arm, and hides the ball behind his back. Covered by the cloth, he can slide the ball back out to the front and let it magically reappear. Once more around the room, and now you know the secret to the world-famous zombie ball.